So the idelalisib, unlike the other um, kinase inhibitor approved last year for CLL, ibrutinib, which is a tar targets the brutin tyrosine kinase, has been studied in combination with monoclonal antibodies or in chemotherapy most extensively. But most of the activity in those combinations, I think many of us understand, is from the, from the drug itself. While we have been prescribing it um, since its approval as a single agent, I again think that um, what we understand about kinase inhibitors in general, idelalisib included, is that sustained remissions will require continued therapy. And that has consequences both for patients' health long-term as well as their financial health long-term and the financial health of our, of our healthcare system. So many of us are interested in rational combinations that can result in higher response rates and allow discontinuation of therapy. So for me and other CLL investigators, I think the greatest excitement comes in what we'll see as, as combinations are, are developed ideally with novels uh, targeted therapies.